You might be wondering what happened last night. And trust me, I don't even know. But first, let me tell you what happened with the car in the past. One month ago, I dropped my car to David Development because there was something wrong with it. And as you saw in the first video, there was a very bad noise coming from the bottom end, which we later found out it was a crankshaft. But we got it fixed. And not only, we forged the engine too. On the day of picking up the car, we made the payment and the guys handed us the keys to finally drive the car in her best condition ever. Or at least that's what I thought. I don't know exactly what happened to my car, but right now we are on the motorway and something. What can you like up here? But oil is going everywhere. And I had an APC light. And I don't want to turn my car on anymore. I'm just going to wait for recovery. And... So guys, I don't really know exactly what happened. But I'm hoping it's nothing major. Because trust me, I'm going to cry. After all the money I put into this car. I'm going to cry so bad. Hopefully it's just a cat scan. Hopefully it's just a wire. Hopefully, I don't know bro. I don't know. Okay, so I found that this button, the yellow button right there. In emergency if you press it you can put it in a neutral even if you don't turn the car on at this point i was tired working on a car and having so much problems after you spent so much money and time to make sure everything was right and then it just lets you down i was just tired and frustrated <laughs> Love my life. Thank you very much. I, I, yeah, I've got them yesterday. I just bought them. Yeah, yeah, brand new. <laughs> if you don't go broom 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 all my days the AA mechanic came to help but I don't think he can do much about it so we will probably go back on this and then go home.
can't do it. Maybe. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to break it. I don't want to fuck anything up. I'm just getting all the oil off. Oh, oh that's yours. <laughs> I was giving it to my girlfriend. I was like, what? <laughs> Bro, trust me, this is the last thing you want to see after you spend so much money. Oh, yeah, in. 100%, man. <laughs> the, uh, the oil cash can is quite full, but I checked it this morning and I was about to clean it, but I said I will clean it tomorrow. But I don't think an APC light will come because that's full. Nah, EPC light will come on because it's recognized the misfire oh, at high RPM. But that, that could be anything. That could be from something simple to something fucking yeah. huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> far from home yeah to, to yeah. risk it so it's not worth the risk no, no. especially if you've just had yeah. loads of engine work done no nah, because that I, would I don't want to i don't want to make you have any problems so yeah. who done the engine for you devil development where are they two hours away but i already sorted the recovery for monday to go there oh you sorted monday recovery so yeah. you just want this to go home now yeah, yeah and just wanted to take it home safely so i've just got some oil and some other refreshing to top up my engine oil just to make sure it's safe and there's nothing crazy on it i'm here with my oil it's not the same oil that i have in my car but i have no other option because i can't just order right now quantum premium quantum platinum or something like that that's what they say to use that's what i'm using all right guys it's three in the morning and the recovery is here so we can finally go home it's freezing outside we're gonna put this on the truck and then go home and sleep and then tomorrow I will try to sort uh, the oil cash can and everything out. I will let you know tomorrow morning. We go home. Hi right, guys, I've just emptied the cash can and bro, it's looking bad as fuck. And then right now I'm, I'm here at the turbo elbow and I can see so much oil in there but I can't reach it. Look, you can even see the path not a path the how you call it oil. anyway you can see the oil <laughs> Look at it, bro. Shit. all right guys i've just cleaned the turbo area i just put the, something there so nothing goes through i'm gonna clean the air intake hose because it looks like there's a lot of oil inside and then we're gonna put the cash can on and then start the car to make sure everything is good the turbo looks fine yeah, so we just took a little break. I cleaned the turbo, cleaned the air intake, cleaned all the areas. Of course, there's gonna still be some oil inside the turbo where I can't reach and I don't wanna reach because I don't wanna fuck anything up. And there's a bee flying around. Ooh, and no, oh, she's going to my Red Bull, bro. Five minutes later. So my girlfriend right here <laughs> got me a race line cash can right now. And I'm so happy, well, I can't really express my happiness right now because I'm stressed with all this shit that's happening. But bro, if you don't have a girlfriend like mine, 
you have to get one. <laughs> all right, guys, this is my first startup after cleaning everything and after all that happened last night. I'm expecting a lot of smoke still because there's probably down the um, exhaust. But let's see. Ce fac așa? I tried everything, I cleaned the turbo, I cleaned the air intake, I cleaned the oil cash can, I cleaned the surroundings. I did expect some smoke to still come out of the exhaust because um, the, there was, and I'm sure there is still oil in there, but I just can't do this test and um, not only do the test, but I don't want to break anything inside the engine or, you know, do more damage. So Monday morning, we're going back to Devil Development. Recovery is gonna come around six in the morning. We're gonna put the car on the trailer and go to Devil and then they will have a look. Hopefully it's nothing major. And if in case it's the turbo, I'll probably have to just, you know, um, I'll probably not even go for stock turbo. I'll probably have to just upgrade it to the bigger one. But at this point, I'm so upset and I'm so frustrated of the situation because you spend so much money, you take care of a car and then it breaks, something goes wrong. And um, there's people out there that they don't even do the oil service or anything and the car works perfect. I don't really understand how I spent so much money and I took so much care of this car and then it's still not working the way I want. I'm now on 1,050 miles. Uh, drove it nicely, like there was no crazy driving. There was no going over 4,000 RPMs. And somehow it still happens. Hopefully it's nothing major and then we can probably sort it out the same day on Monday us I want to go back with my car I don't want to leave it there you know you want to enjoy your car you don't want to be in a garage anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye